Og jeg håber, nobody ever has det. Altså, far og råd og mor, ser blot kommer ned over deres sons ears and rolling down the road. They had to remove his skull because Paul had frontal lobe damage and so he damage to the brain. And because the brain was swelling that much, they had to cut away an extra piece of the skull. When Paul first came into consciousness, the relief on the staff in, in the emergency room was, you could see, you knew they weren't expecting him to survive. The worst part was the first day they brought Paul down to the gym to teach him to walk again was the hardest part to look at. But after that, we just did what we had to do as a family. Before Paul had the titanium plates in, he would have been, his memory, he wouldn't have remembered that. He'd remember family, okay, but he wouldn't remember who was up visiting them. No life in his eyes, he had a blank expression on his face and he never, he wouldn't smile and that wasn't Paul. I would love to get back to the normality, just with the working and going home with my wife, my kids, and just doing all and stuff. I could keep doing my tasks now when I'm home, just to be sure, like, that would be good, it would be good. I know I have to start again, that's the other side of it, but I'll just have a house to pay for, and my wife to pay for my kids, it's all good, it's all good. We've seen the huge difference. We've seen the old Paul up to now, as, as you can see yourself, his sense of humour is back. Um, <laughs> Just there last week, the chap he had the accident with, he turned and he said to him, here, yeah, you nearly killed me. <laughs> the next phase would, would be for Paul to go to acquire brain injury Ireland. They're actually opening a, a house down 10 minutes from us here down in Lucan. I was told it should be open by the end of September. But at the end of the day, if this funding is not released, my son will be a patient either in the NIH or back in an acute hospital, which is not where he should be. My son, when he was in Tallaght, was in an orthopedic ward for 11 months with people that suffered with dementia. It was not the environment he should have been in. The NIH are saying, Paul is holding up a bed there, which I totally agree with them. By all means, because I know what it's like as a parent to try and get your son into the National Rehabilitation Hospital. We were a year waiting to get Paul in there. And I would love Paul to be transferred, but to the price where he's supposed to go to. If he goes back to Tala, he's going back to to a hospital that can do nothing for him. Not alone that, they're only moving the situation for Paul to take up a bed in an acute hospital for other patients that need it. I've been told that it has gone to another level in the HSE, but I've also been told from the NIH they've been onto the HSE, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem to make a difference. So yeah. like, where have, you, where have you to go to try and give your son back his life and his future.